Sully for Antisocial News, and this is Tuesday, August the 29th, 2017, and since human life is the most important thing on this planet, only news that is uh, life or death situations really matters to the body count report. We are first going to go to, um, you, you know what, you know what, we're not going to do this story first. Let's do, let's do a silly story first. Was there, is there anything silly going on how about um how about this how about isis has a new target lebanese porn star mia khalifa now this story says it came out this month 2017 but um gotta be honest i can't find uh can't find this story uh else well, i mean it, i find it mentioned elsewhere here's here's it mentioned in times of india and then times of india you know, with journalistic integrity, shows an entire gallery of Mia Khalifa uh, booty shots and cleavage. So yeah, oh, okay, this is this is clearly corroborating the evidence that ISIS has now threatened her, right? I mean, like ISIS just threatened Mia Khalifa, which is why this is journalism. Look at all this journalism I'm doing. I'm doing some journalism here too. Isn't that great? Anyway. Uh, this is an old story, as far as I can tell, because the only time, like, an ISIS threat makes the news is when it's viral, but this is an old story. This is something that's been around. Uh, this is a uh, JK News video from 2015 that references this exact situation supposedly just happened now in 2017. Um, and uh, they even said Mia Khalifa, porn star at the time. She's she's now retired, but at the time she said, uh, uh, hey, you know, chop my head off, fine. Just, just not my boobs. I spent a lot of money on those. Um, so she's a pretty, pretty cool, cool cat about this whole death threat from ISIS thing. But uh, I'm I'm just a little skeptical that it is a world news story now. If it is, uh, my thoughts and prayers are with uh, with uh, Miss Khalifa. I hope she has the foresight to hire some some heavy duty security, um, and uh, hope she she uh, stays safe out there. Beautiful woman, uh, entrepreneur. She's made a lot of money, enough to be able to retire at a at a very young age. So. So good for her, and I hope she stays safe. Now let's move on to some news that isn't two years old and rehashed by both Times of India and Times of Israel. Um, all the links, including the link to the JK News video about the original death threats, are in the description of this video. Check them out. Okay, now we're going to be talking about Iran. Uh, the Iran issue... With Israel, Iran's always saber-rattling against Israel, but things are ramping up, and there is some technological advancements uh, happening with Iran. Uh, read about that from Times of Israel. Um, there's also a diplomatic fight to prevent war and to prevent, prevent carnage uh, going on with Israel and Russia. Netanyahu and Putin are meeting to uh, try to discuss putting some pressure on Iran to back off and uh, hopefully not have to have Israel doing defensive measures against Iran in Syria. So, uh, because that's where the Iranian, uh, either Iranian troops like the uh, Ir Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps, the Nuri Englab, uh, Nuri Quds, the Quds Force, of the Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps, um, uh, or Hezbollah, which is a Shia-backed militia, uh, or Iran-backed Shia militia, I should say, in Syria. So keep an eye on this story. Uh, what a lot of people think is going to happen, what the plan is, is to get Hamas, who we discussed yesterday, to attack Israel, and then Iran will attempt to get uh, some some international from the Muslim community backing to strike Israel. 
in defense of the Palestinian people. So, very scary situation there. Uh, a lot to a lot to be concerned with, which uh, we'll uh, we'll keep an eye on that. Um, we have an interesting situation in the AfricanNews.com no comment section, where uh, there is a uh, piece on uh, a sit-in to denounce sexual violence in Morocco, and I had to look up what was going on with the sexual violence problems in Morocco. And uh, there is uh, kind of a an outcry, uh, and this is mostly a, a woman's rights situation, but there is also um, a gay rights element to this. So uh, both of these groups are, are uh, uh, threatened um, constantly in uh, predominantly Muslim countries. So this is a this is a situation to uh, to check out to see what's going on even in uh, very civilized, very um, very wealthy places. There's still a fight for uh, for freedom, independence and safety for people that uh, we definitely take for granted in the United States. Um, let's move on to Korea Times. Now, this is me just basically tossing up. I'm going to put this link in there in the link list, but the number one thing I want to bring up to people is just to go to koreatimes.co.kr. That is a Korean website for your Korean news. Um, South Korea is right there with North Korea. Right there right there on the other side of the demilitarized zone. So uh, they know North Korea. They know what's going on. And uh, they don't look at North Korea through a giant political prism. They look at North Korea as a life and death situation. So that's why for them, it's just a bunch of bullet points. It's North Korea fires missiles o- missile over Japan. Moon orders display of power to respond to North Korean missile. Market shows resilience uh, toward North Korea risk. Uh, Defense Minister visits U.S. to discuss military buildup. Opposition calls for overhaul of North Korea policy. U.S. mulls deployment of strategic assets to South Korea to counter northern threat. Um, uh, Boom. Bullet points. (laughs) So, uh, you know... Keep an eye on this story, but maybe don't maybe don't even bother with American news on this because uh, they'll just try to make it political when it is not a political story. It is a life or death, uh, world at war story. So, uh, yeah, like I said, go to Korea Times. On this story, we are going to move to the Philippines, Manila Times, and uh, also I want I want everyone to uh, check the link in the description to the uh, square table discussion that I had last night on the drug problem in the Philippines uh, with uh, Philam uh, rappers and poets and. Uh, uh, design, fashion designers, uh, uh, some never really get. Uh, L.A. Stone and I speak talking about uh, the drug situation in the Philippines, what it's, uh, what they've seen, um, uh, how they, how they are concerned about the police violence, but they know that the drug situation is actually a terrible thing, and uh, putting the fear of God in people to. <clears throat> encourage them not to get involved with the drug community uh, does have a lasting good. So, uh, which I was kind of surprised to to get that get that response from them, but uh, it definitely put a a uh, uh, more on the ground perspective to the uh, drug situation. That link was in the description below. Uh, drug free Pagsinan by 
year end a possibility. Uh, so check this out. I'm talking about all of the there's 93 villages are reportedly affected by illegal drugs in Pangasinan. 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 Uh, and uh, there's uh, there's uh, 1,177 villages already declared drug free. So uh, so very interesting. Uh, that that the uh, Filipino communities are really taking charge of this situation, um, and this is a predominantly peaceful uh, peaceful situation. Uh, they they're not talking about goon squads killing people. They're talking about uh, working with the community to to get drugs out of them, uh, which is which is good because as we see here in the United States of America, uh, drugs are are uh, uh, rapidly becoming the leading cause of death, um, which is shocking. So, you want to talk a life or death situation, and talk the drug epidemic. So, with that, I want to go ahead and end this. Um, uh, check out the last video I made with SNRG. Also, uh, subscribe to their channel, and don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel especially you know if you if you were enlightened to a website or a news story that you did not know about uh i i i challenge you to subscribe to my channel i think i think i earned that so thank you so much and have a great rest of your day